Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you our coffee bar area. Okay, so here's an overview of our coffee bar area. It's still a little bit crowded. I'm still in the process of figuring the best setup for us, but right now this is fine. So over here are the Nespresso machines. And then we have two different kinds of coffee glasses. This one is the 14 ounce and this one is the 10 ounce. Right here is the Aerochino 3. And over here, there's a jar of sugar. Looks like that. Behind it, there's a jar for the Virtuo pods. Right here on the other side, we have the original pods. And we also have a vanilla syrup that's not been opened. And over here on the wall, I just put the list for the pods. This is for the Virtuo one and the other one for the original. And so far, it's been really helpful for us. We don't really have to go online to check the descriptions of each pod. So over here, we have two different kinds of Nespresso machines. The small one, which is called the Essenza Mini and the big one, which is called the Virtuo. So if you go to Nespresso website, you'll see a ton of different kinds of machines and they have descriptions there. So you can read which one suits your needs. For me, I use the Senza Mini more than the Virtuo one just because I like the taste of the original pods more than the Virtuo pods. And I feel like it gives me that exact amount of coffee I need a day. And it's very light and it's very compact so I can bring it in the living room, um, other places here in the kitchen or in the office. I have a really bad addiction to coffee. That's why we have two espresso machines. The mini one was actually the first one I bought and it was a bundle. It came in with the Aerochino 3, which is a milk frother. So this can make warm or cold milk. So I think that's perfect if you like your coffee sometimes hot and sometimes cold. For the Virtuo machine, I just bought it by itself only because we have the Aerochino already. But I recommend you guys getting the bundle, it's better. Again, you don't really need two espresso machines. I just really love coffee that I wanted to try both original and Virtuo pods. But one is definitely enough for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and make two coffees using both of these machines. Okay guys, so here is the Essenza Mini. For this machine, we'll be making cappuccino. So the first thing we need to do is turn on our machine. So how do I do that is by pressing any button. And this will heat up your machine before you put in your pods. So while it's heating up, I'd like to also make my milk. So I'm using 2% milk. We want to make sure we have water so you can easily just detach it from the machine and then fill up some water. And that water is already good enough so we won't be putting any more. So we want to make sure it's attached to the machine. So what I like to do is remove the bottom part over here so I can fit my mug. And the pot that I'll be using for today is the Chiaro, which is one of my favorites. So what we want to do is open this latch over here, put in our pod, close it, and then press this button. Okay, so our coffee is done. So we want to heat up our milk. So that will take about probably a minute. Um, it won't take that long. So we'll wait for that to froth. Alright, so our milk is ready. So we can open this up now. And as you can see, you have that very beautiful thick frothy milk. And 
there you go guys very easy we have a cappuccino okay you guys so moving on to the virtuo machine what i like to do same thing as the small one is to turn it on first and then when it stops blinking that means it's ready again we also want to make sure that we have water so for the ritual, I'm making latte macchiato. You want to make sure you pour in your milk first. Just like that. Should be good enough. Put it there. And then to open this machine, you just slide the latch on the right to unlock. And there goes the old one. And then I'll be using this Bianco Leggero. I don't know if that's how you say it, but we're gonna call it that. Close it and we want to make sure we lock it. And then press the button. So as you can see, it's very beautiful. It has that ombre look. And we can see the crema on top of that milk. This coffee looks amazing. Okay, so what we need to do next is to add the froth on top of the coffee. There you go. This is our latte macchiato. So you guys, for reference, for the original pots, my favorites are the Chiaro, Colombia, and Scuro. And for the Virtua one, my favorite is the Bianca Ligero. Alright you guys, that concludes our video for today. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you again on my next one.